Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. We need to talk about Galani Gold because something big has happened. It's a large position of mine, so let's let's talk about it. So first the gold price, we know that gold is going to go up, so we need to be in gold mines, no problem there. But something has happened. And apparently it's good news because Galani Gold is going higher. So what happened? They sold Mopane. So basically they had three mines, Mopane, Galaxy and Summit. And they're selling Mopane in Botswana. So what's the most important sentence here? This is the most important. Mopane represented 5% of the equity. That's important. And when you search on debt, I can't find anything about debt, but it says that all the obligations will be gone. Okay, so that means that all the debt is relinquished and they also didn't get a lot of money from this, but basically Mopane is just deleted. That's all. Now, what does this mean? Let's go over the financials. So the latest balance sheet in September, we had 60 million assets and 36 million equity so five percent of this is gone that's not a lot so that's maybe one to two million so it's negligible now let's take a look at the debt so mopane probably a lot of the accounts payables are already in here so this is probably gone most of it and in the interest bearing loans and borrowings. So let's take a look at number 12. We can see that the mining royalties were 5 million. So this is related to Mopane. The other things are mainly related to Galaxy. So th this 5 million here, that's number two, is related to Botswana. So they had uh, that's related to royalties and this will be relinquished so 5 million is gone and what do we have more so 12 and 5 is 17 and then we delete some of this as well restoration and rehabilitation provision which we can find here so Mopane's provision was about about 2 million and Galaxy 4 million. So we delete another 2 million from here. So that gives us uh, 17 and then 19. So let's say 20 million is gone. And then we look at the asset side. The asset is around 25 million. So basically, yeah, it's, it's right, uh, we have 25 million assets minus the, the debt, which is around 20 million. So, so we have uh, like 5 million equity uh, with maybe some impairments uh, and some, some cash debts being paid. So basically this is almost gone. Uh, they were profitable. So I think the debt is now almost zero by next uh, quarter. So in general, then we can say that the equity is the same, right? Because only 5% is gone and all the debt is gone. So basically we have a company that has delivered its balance sheet. No more debt and the equity is the same. So this is a very good news because 
I like companies with no debt, especially in an in a world where interest rates are rising. We don't want to be in debt when we have rising interest rates. So this is a very good news on the balance sheet side, but we also have good news, of course, on the revenue side. So revenue, see 11 million and mining costs 10 million. That's not good. That's very high cost. 11 revenue and 10 costs. You can't make money like this. So Mopane was a very bad mine and AISC was around 1500 maybe. So they couldn't make any money. Now that mine is gone. Okay. Very easy now to calculate. AISC is just 950 for this year based on Galaxy. So we are going from a cost of maybe 13 to 1400 to below 1000. So margins are improving. We want to see companies with high margins because they get a premium because of high margins. And those margins are only going to improve next year. AIC will go to 800 and production will go from phase one, which is now in production, completed. And we go to phase two next year. So increased production and lower costs by next year. This is just the best moment to buy this company. I have also updated my valuation chart. We are now at 40 million market cap. And we should be trading right now at, at this multiple of five to EBITDA, this production and this cost, this gold price 1860. So that gives us a valuation today of 80 million. So this should double already. And next year we go to here. So that's uh, based on next year's production in phase two. So next year we go to phase two and the plant is already built for phase two. So that capex will not be necessary anymore. We just need to dig some holes and get the ore to the plant. And then we have 38,000 production and AISC of 800. So that will give us next year a valuation of 150 million. So that's a triple from here by next year. Let's say a, a easy double by next year. And the last one is Summit. This is the chart for Summit, which is adding the galaxy of next year plus the summit production for next year with EBITDA multiple of four because the mine life is slower. So this will add another 20,000 production and cost is also very low. So this will be a very low cost gold mine below 800. So this is one of the lowest cost gold mines in the world. Find me a gold mine with an AIC of below 800. I bet you can't find any of these, uh, maybe 10 mines in the world to have these low costs. And that will propel from 40 million to 250 million. And that's still a six fold, let's say a five fold in one year time. So this company has the potential to five fold in one year time. I mean, this is just uh, uh, the best opportunity you can get in the gold space. And gold is going to go higher, let's say 2000, then this can uh, go, go even higher, okay? Now production chart has been updated as well. I have deleted Mopane to zero because Mopane is gone. 
And production is going lower first this year, of course, but will go back up next year. So we are still in a growth phase. Production will be rising to 80,000. And we will see what happens here. They will probably extend the mine life. But we are in a very nice growth phase here. Let's talk a bit about CAPEX. So where are we standing here with the phases? Phase one is done. Okay, so we have gone from here to here. That's phase one. And we will be mining here at this rate here. And by next year, we will go to phase two and almost double production. So this is phase one here, and we are now going to phase two. Costs will go from 1000 to 800. That's very good. We want to see lower costs. CapEx is probably stable. We need to build some uh, extra things here, like uh, tailings facilities, etc. CIL plants for phase three. So you will see some CapEx coming in, right? But most of that CapEx has already been done. So phase two plant is already done. Um, so we are now starting with phase three. But even though the CapEx will rise a bit, we, we still have uh, cash flow that is positive and it's only going to rise. So the cash flow will be higher than the capex and you can see that here the blue thing is bigger than the brown and that means that the cash flow will be rising very quickly from to today eh? today this is this year and the next year we will see the cash flow rise tremendously and this is only for 1400 gold price. We are now at 1800 gold price. So this is probably going to rise even faster. So we are at a critical juncture here. Cash flow is going to increase rapidly because of the cash flow that's coming in. And that's coming from, of course, this increased production. So that's a small update on Kalani Gold. And let's talk a bit about Summit, because Summit is the next project that they will be doing. They will try to restart it, and it has a lot of upside potential, about 100 million potential. So this is an important project. It also diversifies the company from Africa to USA. So they deleted Mopane, which is very good. And so now they have half, half a mine in Africa and a mine in USA. And this is a pretty important one because it will add 100 million in NPV to the company. And let's talk about it. So here you can see the NPV is around 100 million, okay, at 1800 gold. And the mill is around 250 tons per day in capacity. So it's it seems a lot like Winston Gold, which is another mine that I invested in, but it didn't work out. And it has also the same grades, around 10 grams per ton. And it's also an underground mine. Um, and also using uh, an old mill. So many things are similar here with Winston Gold. So, so why is Winston Gold not doing that well? So you can see here they ramped up production here 
and now it's plunging. So I hope Summit will not be doing this here. Okay. So what went wrong with Winston Gold? They had their mill, they had their workforce, they were mining, um, stockpiling, and they started the mill to, to configure it. But things went wrong. For example, their bearings needed to be replaced, their conveyor belts needed to be replaced. They couldn't get the parts. Okay? So the mill broke down, basically. And while they broke down, of course, revenue goes to zero. And costs didn't go down because they need to pay the workers. They need to pay for the parts. So that's why the stock went down and there was a lot of dilution to shareholders. So more and more the dilution means that there is not a lot of upside anymore and, and it went down. And since then, I haven't heard anything about production. They probably still have problems. So this is what can happen with the small miners. And Summit looks like the same as Winston Gold. It has the same tonnage. It's still a, a mill that's, that was in maintenance. Probably things will break down. Um, a lot can go wrong here. But of course, Galani Gold has a producing galaxy mine, which can provide support in case that summit would break down. So I hope that, that they don't make the same mistake as Winston Gold. Please check that everything works fine, that you have the parts to replace it. Okay, you need to have a backup plan. Make sure that the workforce is doing its job in mining. Um, and make sure that you have a backup plan. That uh, suppliers will supply you with the repair items. And don't fall into the trap of Winston Gold. That's what I want to see uh, management do. Before you start producing, you need to do a comprehensive analysis of the equipment, how you're going to mine it, and have a backup plan. Okay? So hopefully they will be able to get Summit online this year and then we can go fivefold it all depends on how summit will work out if it's going to be loss making or profit making and i'll see you in the next video bye